In just 2 minutes you will know how to connect your PS5 DualSense controller to your Nintendo Switch, Switch Lite or Switch OLED. Let's get it! There is only one way of connecting it, for which you will need an adapter. And there are several adapters on the market, I will put links to them in the description. So, I personally use this AB2 adapter. And because Nintendo Switch has a USB-C connector and this adapter has a USB-A connector, in handheld mode you will need an additional USB-C to USB-A adapter. So, the first thing to do, you go to settings on your Nintendo Switch, then to controllers and sensors, and make sure you have this option called Pro Controller Wire Communication enabled. Then, you plug in your adapter and tap the button on it, it should start blinking. Then, on your controller, you hold down these two buttons until the light bar starts blinking too, you will feel the vibration in your controller, and the light will become solid. And that's how you know it's connected. Now, with the dock station, you simply plug in your adapter to the USB port on your dock and do the same thing. And it works awesome, all buttons, sticks and triggers work, vibration works, and what I like the most, motion controls work too. This is a home button now, the touchpad is a screenshot button, and these two act like plus and minus buttons. Sadly no adaptive triggers, microphone and headphone support, and no haptic feedback, because it mimics Switch Pro Controller that also doesn't have these features. If you want to connect PS4 DualShock controller, the process all the same. Same buttons on the controller and everything will work too. If you want to connect Xbox controllers, be careful, not all adapters will work since Xbox controllers have a different connection protocol. They worked in the past, but not now, after Microsoft updated them. Anyway, I will make another tutorial for them specifically, so stay tuned. That's it. I hope this video will help you. My name is Max, stay safe and bye.